Aloha, all, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Bodokai 3. I'm Paper Mario Guy, and this is uh, Inside Boo. We are f still continuing Vegeta's story, and I'm still in this recording session. Um, about the last two episodes, or, uh, well, majority of the last two episodes, um, sorry if you, like, again, if you didn't like the fact that I was talking about, like, those projects so much, but, like I said, multiple times, I just wanted to kind of get that stuff, um, off my chest. Anywho, um, Vaccine is still here and everything, you can still use it, and you have all your abilities back, so don't worry about that so much, but you still, even with Vaccine, the thing is, um, like, look at how fast Boo's health is dropping, it's like, even though, like, like, I'm just saying, like, Boo's health drops so fast with the combination of just the, uh, the stipulation, as well as, like, the vaccine. So, this is a really good combo if you're looking to make this a, a, a really easy fight. And I didn't even, uh, think about that when I was, like, going in here. Because at first I thought that I didn't have my, um, my, uh, stats back, like, all my stuff back, so. Uh, oh, that was a bad thing to happen to you, boo. Sorry about that. <laughs> Anyway, um, even though I'm done talking about, like, other people's projects and stuff like that, I kind of wanted to get, um, like, talk about this, um, for a decent while, because I was throwing, and I've been throwing around the possibility of doing an LP, and this would not be my next LP, or an, an LP in the summer, or in the near future, or anything. It's just been something I've been thinking about. But the game Conquers Bad Fur Day is a really, really, in my opinion, like, good game. Like, Diddy Kong Racing was an awesome game, and it spawned two equally, like, great games off of it. And that's Banjo-Kazooie, which obviously got a, a, a definitely more critical reception, and maybe not critical reception, but it got a bigger following. Um, and, like, Conker's Bad Fur Day, on the other hand, was a little more edgy, obviously. It was rated M. It had it was one of the only N64 games that I know of that had, like, swearing and stuff like that, and, like, really solid voice acting. Um, and there was just... It, it, was, a, it was a really, um, raunchy game, um, which was un, uh, really kind of unheard of for the N64, but at the same time on the N64, its graphics was really by beyond its times and everything and that was one of the really like and, and its music was fantastic like i love the overworld theme um but it was just like the critical reception was just it it, it was um it was it was just such an edgy game compared to everything and i know that a lot of people don't don't like that and it just brings in the question, like, would would it conquers LP, it conquers Bad Fur Day LP be successful? And I haven't really looked around to see if other people have done it, and if it has. But I know there's a lot of little kids who watch, not little kids, but like ten year olds and stuff like that, like who watch this stuff. And me as a person, like, like I with older brothers and everything, like I've been exposed to this stuff. So when I was ten, like I really just like didn't care. But I mean. It's just a matter of not even so much being young and not accepting it. I know just a lot of people don't really find that type of humor that funny and everything. And it's just it's one of those things. It, and, and it's one of the... Uh, and, like, when I think of Conker's Bad Fur Day, I think of how well, like, a GTA game would go over. Um, more specifically, I was thinking, like, uh, San Andreas, because there's a lot more edgy themes in there. Basically, the whole game is about gangs and drugs and, like, sex and money and stuff like that. So, to do an LP of that type of game, I mean, it's just so much, like, there's a lot of, I mean, it, I mean, there's a lot of swearing, there's a lot of bad topics in there. And, and again, not everybody's into that stuff, so, I, I don't know, I kind of want to look around um, to see how, how well stuff like that has gone over in the past, just because... Um, not so much that I'm thinking about, I mean, I, I, I do really like the GTA series, and I would kind of like to see, like, do an LP of it, but, I mean, I don't know, I have to evaluate for myself and get some other opinions on it, because, again, it is one of those, one of those games that just, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, 
and I respect that, and I want people to... And I was just getting finished talking about games that, like, I find hard to watch just because I don't really like the game. So, I don't know. It, it's one of those... Th I, I think about it all the time, just because... I know me as a person, like, that's the type of humor I'm into. I'm in the kind of South Park humor and everything. I don't mind the raunchiness. I don't mind the, uh, all that stuff. But, I mean, at the same time, I have to kind of acknowledge what my viewers are watching as well. So, I don't know. We'll see when the time comes, because I do have other things planned in, like, up to a certain point. So, it's, it, I don't know. I, that, I, I mean, I, I keep on saying that, but I really don't. Like, it's... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, again, I'm saying it again. Anyway, as far as the game goes, um, this is pretty much the end of Vegeta's story. Um, same thing as Goku's story. Uh, it's like the end, and Goku's using the spirit bomb and all that. Kid Buu fight, which is honestly, in my opinion, and I think I kind of displayed that in Goku's story, is one of, like, my least favorite fights in the game just because I think it's so freaking tedious and annoying and difficult. And I took pretty easy, like, like I made it look kind of easy with Vegeta, in my opinion. So, I don't know. Maybe it's because Vegeta was a higher level and I'm... All that, but again, I was on Z with Goku and I'm on Z3 with, uh, Vegeta. And we unlock Trunks, one of my favorite characters in the game, so... Pretty big stuff. And, um... Yeah, that's the last story. Um... So I'm gonna let these credits roll and everything, and it's not the end of the LP, but I mean... I'm just, I've been skipping over the credits, but... Considering Vegeta is the last and final story, um... I think it's fitting that I go through and let you guys see this and everything, so you can see uh, all these different people um, and who they voice act and all that. So, uh, but yeah, that's one of those things. It's like um, I don't know, just thinking about uh, games with edgier content and how they would go over. Because I know, like, uh, I mean, I'm really like repeating myself, but. Certain people just aren't into that stuff, but, uh, we'll see when the time comes. I'll have to make a decision of whether I would want to do something like that or not. Um, if I were to do a game like that with edgier content, I probably wouldn't do, um, a GTA game first. I would probably wind up doing, like, a Conker's Bad Fur Day type game, um, that's still, like, Nintendo-y, still a platformer and everything. See how that were to go over, and then make the decision, um... But, I mean, on the overall, I mean, considering if I do ever LP it, it won't be for a while. I suggest going out and emulating that game or buying it or whatever you have to do to get a sample of that game. Because that game's fantastic, in my opinion. Um, lots of hilarious references, too. Um, like, I think that was one of the selling points for me. Like, I played through the game. And, I mean, also, the multiplayer is awesome if you have friends. But, like... Like, going through the story mode of that game is just, like, a joy, because there's so many references to, like, pop culture and everything, it just, like, makes you smile when you get, like, the reference and you know what they're talking, like, they're parodying, and, I don't know, fun game, overall. But, um, considering this is the final, um, story episode, um, in the next couple coming days, I'm going to do my World Tournament video, um, showing off my, uh, all the World Tournaments. I am going to do, uh, the the uh, Dragon Arena, I'm going to show off that, and um, that will pretty much conclude the LP, uh, I'm, I'm, the tournaments will conclude, it will go Dragon Arena, then tournaments, um, and then that will conclude the LP, but I will have extra videos coming of um, a compilation, it will all be post-commentary, so I apologize if, none of, if you guys don't like it, but it will be post-commentary um, going over uh, like some of the extra battles that I missed, as well as a um, a special addition to um, to everything, showing every ultimate attack in the game. Most likely, it's going to be sped up, but it's going to be every ultimate attack in the game um, with me winning the attack uh, all together. And I don't know if I'm going to put music to it or if I'm going to commentate it. Uh, I may commentate it just because I don't really feel like risking 
like the video getting hit with copyright or being taken down for whatever reason or yeah but that's that's pretty much the the plans for this LP um I don't want to like start getting into like why the LP was good but I mean because I'm gonna save that for like one of the ending episodes but it's it's pretty much over and just in time too really good timing right there uh, hope you really enjoyed Vegeta's story, at least, though, because, uh, I sure as hell did. Vegeta, like I said, is my favorite character, and, uh, really good at character to operate as well. So, um, I think that's gonna pretty much call it quits for this, um, episode, and in the next episode, I will, uh, start my one video kind of show off of, uh, Dragon Arena, and, um, until then, I'm Paper Mario of the Koopa Ninja Bros, and I'll see you all in, uh, part 55. See you then.